Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 65 of Daryl20's Let's Play of FTB Skyblock Expert Mode. Uh, I'm just, you know, getting ready to make some Tier 3 Occultism Storage Stabilizers, because even though we've gotten into an Applied Energistic System, it's, in my opinion, probably going to be a little bit easier to stick with the Occultism Storage System for a little longer, mostly because we won't have access to infinite range wireless, until we get through Venus. So that said, the plan for today is to upgrade the occultism storage to tier three, and then we're going to work our way towards uh, getting some more applied energistics infrastructure in place. Uh, so I'm gonna need some spirit attuned crystals, which just needs some spirit attuned gems and some burnt glass, which I don't think I've made yet, and obsidian dust, which shouldn't be a problem because obsidian dust is way easier to make now. That's cool. So we're gonna want some burnt glass, which is just uh, any kind of glass in there so we can pull that off. That shouldn't be a problem. And then we need spirit attuned gems, which is diamonds and spirit fire, right? So I'm gonna need one, two, three, four. I'm gonna need 16 of those. Cool. Love it, perfect, beautiful. And then we need fire glass, which I think I'll probably want to um, do this. And then you can stock. Can I burn glass? Oh, good. I can pull that from there. Sweet. So I do that, and you should work perfectly. Thank you very much. Hey, a villager. What's up, buddy? Welcome. You can go inside my occultism storage network. It's lovely in there. You'll love it. It'll be great. Trust me. Trust me. All right, so now if I remember correctly, uh, this is off the top of my head because I looked at it five seconds ago and immediately forgot everything I learned, but we do this, 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 and that, and then you, and then that. All right, nice. Well, that's pretty cool. And there you go. So we've got these four, we've got these four, we've got these four. And that's pretty much what I need to make four sets of tier three uh, storage, right? Uh, now we're also going to need the books, the Afrit books. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, we're also going to need, you know, another tier two probably. Uh, but that's pretty easy to get. Some Spirit of Tune Gems, some gas tier, block of silver. I think we had like a thing for gas tiers, didn't we? Aren't they coming out of here? Yes. Nice. All right, so gas tier, we're gonna need like a couple of them, I think. I think ultimately three, silver block. Because I think ultimately, we already have one tier two, so we're gonna want three more, right? Um, <clears throat> and then we're gonna need you and a couple spirit attuned gems. So we're gonna need six of those spirit attuned gems. Um, easy. Okay, and then finally we need, um, we already have two tier ones down here, right? So we're only gonna need one more tier one, but we might as well make it just so that we can like really flesh the whole thing out. Uh, so for that, if I did this, would you be able to give me like everything I need? Close to it. So we're gonna need one more Spirit of Tune gem. Okay, um, and then we're going to need some mana infused copper and and one quartz gear and an other stone pedestal. So that shouldn't be too terrible to make happen. So it'll be you, you, and a quartz gear. Which I just assumed would work in there. Nice. Okay, so I've got everything I need resource-wise, but let's make sure we've got everything we need circle and book-wise. So first we're gonna need a Foliot binding book, which shouldn't be too terrible. Um, yep, not bad at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish is about what I'm gonna need in total, if, uh, if I'm thinking about that correctly. And then we're gonna need you guys to be friends and that should be cool all right now which of these uh which of these rituals do i do avesius's spectral compulsion that i'm gonna have to look up in the book 
So that would be this guy. Um, so he's going to be two uh, crystals on the sides. There's four white around the center and some white and some candles. So do we have something that looks like that? Um, I feel like it's this one, but like with... Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. I'm almost certain that's it. I just need the candles. Um, which will go probably north and south, I assume. Though I don't know if it actually has a facing. Like, I don't know if it matters. Um, and then uh, the, the... Do we have more of these Spirit Attuned Crystals? No, but I'll borrow them from another ritual. I mean, obviously I could make more, but I don't think that there's a need, right? So you would go there and there. And I'll just steal you guys. And that should be cool. Okay. All right. And then you're going to be these dudes. Am I right about that? Yep. And holy <sighs> binding. Nice. Tier 1 stabilizer. Now for the next book, tier 2, um, we're going to need... So I can remove you and you guys. And tier 2 is Strider's Higher Binding. I'm almost certain I have one of those, right? Yeah, that's with the four crystals... And there's some purples and some candles in the corner. I think that's this one. I think this is Striker's Higher Binding. Right? Yellows on the sides. Yeah, that's definitely it. Sweet. And then you're gonna go like that. And then you're gonna become a tier two, which is two spirit of tune gems, block of silver, and gas tier, right? So two spirit of gems, block of silver, and gas tier. And then you also need a tier two book, which is gonna look a little bit like this. Don't I have cactus? I do. And I can, yes, I can. Sweet. Just a little bit of a tick accelerator. Just a smidge. Because you know dire. Awesome. And then let's not forget to bind him. Ready to go. <sighs> nice. And again, a little bit. So now while that's cooking, um, let's make sure that we understand how to make this guy. So that's going to need Severa's Permanent Confinement. And I've got all the resources, but I don't know if I've ever done that actual ritual before. So let's see what that looks like. Um, yeah, see, I mean, it's still green. It means I've never even opened up this thing. Um, whoa, that's a lot of things. All right, so that's a lot of yellow on the outside. Do we have anything that looks like that? So it looks kind of like this guy, but like yellow on the outside instead of white on the outside. No, well, actually pretty different still, nonetheless. I mean, not not massively similar. What I think I might do, um, is it match anything on the inside? So it's like purples and then like... No, it's not like this guy. Not like that guy either. Not like that guy and not like this dude. There's your tier four, tier two stabilizer, by the way. So really doesn't look anything like any of these things. So I'm, I'm thinking what I'm gonna have to do is expand out the, 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 the walkway, here, the area, right? So I'm gonna get some more dirt. Okay, and then my wand. You can actually go away, as can you, as can you, as can you. Just give me a little more inventory space, and I'll be back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the entire ritual off camera. So I'll be right back. All right, I think we're all set here. So if I'm not mistaken, I can snag these dudes.
and we're good to go. All right, sweet. So now I can take this dude along with you all. And it's going to be one, two, three, whoop, four. Yes? Agreed? Confirmed? Accurate? Right? Three, da, 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 da. And then the tier three book, which I know I've made before. So I think it's just our, uh, no, that's not right. Right? No, it's, it's not perfect. Yeah, it, yeah, it actually is. Yeah, never mind. Yep, that's correct. So just some purple dye. Uh, I should have. Nope, I don't have any of that. How are we for source berries? Ah, we have a few. I can do that. Because we know we're going to want a bunch of them, right? Nice. Okay. And then you guys combine. You get planted. And then my chalk can go away. Nice. So now uh, we'll have a tier three storage container. And we're going to see how much that allows me to store. And then we're going to see what happens if I break one of the existing storage containers. Because I'm going to want to upgrade them, right? So I guess we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that this is like a straightforward process. I don't know. I have no idea what will happen, but we'll find out, right? I can't imagine it's going to like drop stuff on the ground, right? I would hope not. So there's your tier three. Right? That's going to sit here. So we're at 1152 now. I do that, and we're at 2176. That is a lot more storage. That is cool, right? And then I should have no problem snagging you, and we're at 1920, and you, and we're at 1664, and now I can go upgrade these dudes um, just the same as I did before. Um, now, if I wanted to, well, it doesn't matter. What I'll do is just replace you. And then I'm going to craft these two off camera because it'll be just a minute, right? But easy peasy, right? So just, you know, you, you, and it's two spirit crystals, right? Is that, am I, yeah, two spirit crystals and then the blocks of silver. Cool. All right, be right back. All right, so that's two tier threes. Okay, so what we're going to do is mount them here. And now we've got a real lot. That's awesome, right? And then I can remove you. And then we can upgrade this one as a final. Dude. Cool. And now we have a massive storage account uh, for, for uh, occultism. So we can store a ton of things in there without even having a slight concern. And I'm on board with that. And as a reminder, because we have it hooked up here, we have access to the same resources in the AE system. And that's the whole point of why I did this, is so that we have a very large storage system available to us. 4,224 stacks. But remember, it's all good because, like, you know, this is only one stack, I think, maybe. I don't know. It says it only holds up to 1,000 items, but like I haven't noticed this number going up when I crossed the 1,000 threshold. So I really don't know how that works. All I know is we got a lot of storage, and that's awesome. So let's start looking at like what we need to do now to get auto-crafting happening, right? Because I'd love to have some auto-crafting down here. And to do that, basically what I'm going to set up is um, like coming off this ME controller, we're going to have like some auto-crafting stuff, right? So I wouldn't mind like probably just starting off some 4k maybe 16k storage i'm not sure uh i might just look at like how much of a hassle each one would be um but if we got like 16k storage that that could yeah it doesn't look terrible it doesn't look terrible at all it's like it's like the standard crafting processes right just just you know with uh with these guys so we're gonna want basically a bunch of calculation processors uh and a bunch of gold processors so off camera real quick, I'm going to go make sure that I have a bunch of those ready to go. So if we look at A2, we've got, you know, a few. We don't have what I would call a bunch. And I'm probably going to want a few more engineering processors while I'm at it. 
So let's get started with this. And having a few coprocessors would not be a terrible idea either. And that's where we're going to want those guys to come in at. So um, effectively, I'm going to want, um, you know, some diamonds and uh, some soldering alloy. Now, I think I have a lot of silicon in here. Um, well, that's in a word, yes, but also no. Are you not tick accelerating or is that what you call tick? Oh, you're probably, you can't be choking on power, can you? No, you've got enough. Why are you acting like you don't have enough power? Well, maybe you need a lot. Okay. Well then, yeah, you are choking on power, but that's okay. So I'm going to get this all crafted up and, uh, you know, we'll be, we'll be right back. That, and then I also wanted soldering alloy, right? I think we need... This one we need a lot of copper and tin for, and I think I was getting low on both, right? Yeah, we definitely don't have a lot of tin. Copper, we're okay, but we need, like, mostly tin. Yeah, tin is what we definitely need a lot of. So I'll, uh, I'll be back. So one little side task that I decided to work on here is I'm going to get you and you guys put in there. And the reason for that is this should make reinforced pressurized tubes. Uh, what I'm finding is like my, this guy's at like, you know, easily four and a half, 4.6 ish. And this guy's like choking at like 3.9. So when I want to do a lot of crafting over here, um, the, the, the throughput in these tubes, these low level tubes, I think are not great. So I'd like to bump them up and make it so that they can transfer air faster. And I think that this is how that happens. I think. If I'm not mistaken. Is that it? Can I put 32 of them in there? Oh, you know what I needed to do? I needed to do 64 of these. That's what I needed to do. Correct, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because it's two plastic per. Dire, please. Where's my coffee? Sweet. And now I can bump these up even further if I got a little dash dust. Uh, so these guys can be induction smelted with uh, two to one. So I need 16 dash and 32 lapis dust, right? So lapis dust. I'm going to assume the crusher can handle that or something else maybe. Uh, yeah, mechanism crusher can do it. I got one of them. Sweet. I got to go around making... Uh, some speed upgrades with these dudes right and energy upgrades and all that good stuff but once we get auto crafting that'll be a little bit you know easier to do that's the plan at least and then i should be able to upgrade you induction smelter make that happen for me please yeah that's right you don't like being tick accelerated do you he really really doesn't tearing it up woohoo so uh if i just like break and replace you do you think i could do it this way Nice and quick. Oh, why are you no connecty? Are we cool here? Yeah, right? So you're still a little bit low, but the hope is that if I replaced all these guys... Not like that. They're a little tricky to play sometimes. Right? But realistically, I have to get it over there. Pretty good. Making progress. Really? That's all I got? Is that really all I got? It's two becomes one. Ugh, I hate it. I don't even know if I have enough, to be honest with you. I might have enough. I might have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have exactly enough. Nice. There you go. Are you going to be better now? Oh, yeah. Look at him building up pressure nicely 
So hopefully this thing like keeps that more pressurized and that would be cool. Cause like right now you're at 4.03. If you're like pretty close to that, I'll be happy. You seem pretty close. Yeah, you're doing good despite the fact that you're running. Yeah, I like that. And that'll let me speed him up even. Like I should be able to throw a couple more speed upgrades in there now and that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, you know what, I'm gonna do it because we're low on pressure anyway. I wanna see what happens if I bump you up to eight. Like, are you able to keep up with that now? He seems pretty cool, right? He seems okay. And worst case, I could toss another one of these guys on, right? Yeah. Um, for funsies, is there... This is a compressed air engine, so that generates rotational force from compressed air. Is there like a compressor? There's a creative compressor. There's a flux compressor, which probably is doable, it looks like. Yeah, we might be able to do that one uh, at this stage, but we like probably don't even need to, to be honest with you. Like this is doing enough. I don't think we need more. And what I could easily do is just toss another rotational compressor on here. I might even do that just because I can, right? So you and you is all I need to do to make that happen. And boom, we have another rotational compressor. And then I could just do another, oh my goodness, well, quests completed. That happens sometimes. Now I'm stuck in a loop. See, I'm stuck in a loop. Now there's like a there's like a way to do this. Like click with the belt. All right, I'm going to need to close my game and come back, so I'm going to go do that. It's because I was playing on an alpha version of the pack, some of the quests got rearranged, and yeah, that happens. So, back in a few. Now we at least have, you know, more. All right, and now we've got all these dudes ready to roll. Nice. That is awesome, by the way. Bing, bang, boom. Put that away. You can go away, too. You, 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 you and you and you and everybody's happy sweet all right let's go build some stuff so over here right and and we'll absolutely be expanding the a system right but what i want to just get going now is some simple auto crafting like that's all i want um if i can get that running i'd be a happy dyer um so what i want to have is probably um i'll i'll like branch off this guy uh somehow and like run some dense cable and build like my my standard flower structure for things down that way okay and then off to this side i'll place down just a few um crafting doohickeys right like i'll probably start with fours let's do that let's start with fours and then we'll build out from there cool so i'm gonna want i don't probably want to use charged yeah probably not what i want to do is this right so we're gonna want one two three and that's gonna be a four right and then you guys can upgrade to fours okay um and then i'll start with the 4k crafting units and then we'll probably need to upgrade them sooner than later but at least we have something going right um, and for that, we need Ostrom processors. That's right. Do I have any more of those? I have some, but I don't know how many. Yeah, a few. For what do you need to be? Uh, for the... These guys? Uh, Fluix cables. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So now... Ultimately, I'm going to want like eight of these, right? Because I want four 4Ks. Four How did that happen? Did I already have 4K crafters in there? 
Did I? Because I only made four of those, right? Can I, like, uncraft these in any way? I want my 4Ks back. Oh, good, you can. Sweet. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you, AE2, for making that possible. Did I? When did I get these? I have no memory of this. I have no memory of this at all. All right, one, two, three, four, and that should be everything. Nice. Okay, so then you're just going to branch over here, um, and then we'll do something like this, with these guys sitting on top of them, and then some cables. Now, I don't need to do anything fancy cable-wise in terms of, like, dense versus not. So now I've got the ability to craft four different things at a time, as long as they're not too complex. But 4K is, like, pretty good to start with. Okay, um, now I need to go look up what I need for my power flower. Um, and that just requires a quick Google. Um, I just always just Google for AE2 assembler flower thing. Um, and like the first hit is a Reddit post that tells you how to build it and also the number of resources you need. So what I need is an interface times 32 molecular assemblers times 77 and optionally you can do 385 acceleration cards i usually skip those but you can if you want um so emmy interface you know we want 32 of those that shouldn't be too bad uh and molecular assemblers we're gonna want 77 of those so ultimately we're gonna want like two ish stacks of these guys and everything else should be relatively simple to fall in line so let's uh let's remember how to make these so you're gonna need Fabrication matrix with glowstone and polished rose quartz. Okay, that's doable, right? That's doable. We we got some rose quartz, didn't we? Did I do this polished rose quartz thing? Or did I? I think I used them to make all my stuff. So yeah, not a big deal. We just need quartz. So I'm going to get like two stacks of quartz. We're going to put them in here. Let's get um, a stack of redstone and get him going. Okay. Um... You can speed that up. You can speed that up. And then for this, we're going to need lots of energized glowstone, right? Uh, now it's a, it's it's a lot of energized glowstone, isn't it? It's a bucket per, um, which means it is it is four. Okay, that's a lot. Um, how are we for glowstone? We're okay. So realistically, we're gonna want like that much energized glowstone. Yes. And we're getting glowstone over here. Yes, we have thousands of it, so we're cool. We're cool. We're good. Nobody panic. All right, so ultimately, you're going to want that many, right? And we're probably going to want even more redstone ready to go. And then you were what? Charged, Certus? So that's going to be fun. Not too bad, though. We have some charged. Actually, we're pretty good on charged right now, so I won't make more. Right? So I want two sets of you. Wow, you burned through that a lot faster than I thought you would. That is a lot of redstone, friends. I'm not worried about the amount. Because we have, like... What I need to do is get these things running faster. That's why I need those upgrades for reels. Alright, so that's going to be... That should be enough. That should be enough to get what I want. Um, now we just need to molten glowstone this thing, right, in my magma crucible. How are you for speed upgradiness? Oh, you could absolutely use some fasterness. You know what? I'm going to use you on you. Um, and increases processing speed but reduces efficiency. That should be cool. That works for me for now. Bing, bang, boom. That'll be good times. You think I could make, like, one of these real quick? Eh, with eight lead. I don't think I've ever really needed my, uh, my dude to, to, to be that fast, but now we're probably going to want it to be nice and fast. And that's cool. All right, and then we want a tank if we can. What are the chances? Do you think we should upgrade this tank? I feel like we should, right? That's going to be 64 buckets. Is that going to be... That could be cool. And that would be a stack. I like that number. I like that number a lot. All right, so then you sit there. 
uh, and we toss that in there, and you're going to be a hot minute, right? Um, now, do I still have... I have you. Do you think we can snag this and we'd be able to survive? Yeah, we seem to be doing okay power-wise. How are you doing on power? I mean, you're obviously draining, but, like, I think we'll be fine. All right. Um, sweet. All right, I'll be back in a minute once I've... You know, I could, like... I could give it a little... Whoa, no, I can't. No, I cannot. No tech accelerating for you. Okay, sorry. So now's the part where I'm going to use a little bit of laser I.O. to make this work a little better, right? So what we're going to have here um, is probably a chest, right? And we could probably also have you here. So, like, let's have you... Uh, I don't need you guys, actually. But you can extract energy. And then on the opposite face, which is south, you'll insert energy. Cool. Beautiful. And you're getting energy. And then on the down, you can extract whatever fluid is in there. Okay. Uh, and then on the south, you'll insert fluid. Or not. Do you not have a thing for that? No, you do, because there's a blue laser, so that means you can insert, right? So down would be extract, redstone ignored, south would be insert fluid. That should be working, I would expect. Yes? Am I misunderstanding what I'm supposed to do here? Oh, this is the quantum assembler. Oh! Never mind. Okay. Well, I mean, I do want to do this eventually, but yeah, he doesn't accept Energized Glowstone, I assume. So yeah, at some point I'm going to want to do some semblance of that, but not this moment. My bad. Over here, <laughs> we're going to do this. Uh, you're going to get drained into there. You're already doing something like that. Um, now, did I automate you guys yet in terms of what you're allowed to extract? So you can insert these guys and then you can extract whatever you get out of it, right? So if I do this, he should be inserting these now. And if I do that, he'll be following up with that, right? So we do, I'm gonna do that, and it's now it's, it's, it's good, right? And what I can do is, so you're draining, but you drain too good. That's cool. Okay, that works for me. I don't know how well you can tolerate doing that, but we're gonna find out, right? And then you're cooking up more, so that's cool. <laughs> go energize glowstone, go. Sweet. All right, so what say you? We wrap up the episode here. Come back next time. I'm going to craft the molecular assemblers and ME interfaces and come back next time to put together the power flower thingy, get our pattern assembler, and then start thinking about automation and auto crafting because I think that's going to be super cool to have. For now, that's my sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let's come back next time and uh, have some more fun getting all this good stuff set up. For now, take it easy.